Okay, what's up YouTube? And today we're doing something a little different. We're gonna do a little cooking with me. Mm, today you're gonna call me Chef Shayer. Bing! Put my hand away. Bing. And what are we cooking today? Spaghetti and meatballs. Bing! This is what it's gonna look like. Okay YouTube, so we're in my kitchen. So like I say, we're making spaghetti and meatballs. I start to make some garlic bread. I'm gonna just show you everything that I'm gonna do. It's a pot. Next thing, I'm using this our spaghetti. Then you're gonna need some vegetable oil, some pasta sauce. I got two, because I like saucy like spaghetti. You know? I like to use accent um seasoning, all purpose seasoning, seasoned salt. Black pepper and regular salt. Am I have like dripping? Because I've had to let like default. Let's get to the action. The first thing you want to do is put the water halfway into your pot. But once you get your half like uh, pot of water, you're going to put it on high heat. You want to add salt to your water just to give it a little bit of season. Uh, if y'all want the exact measurements, I don't really have that. But all I'm going to tell you is, you don't need that much salt. I go around probably like three times, four times, and then you're good. It's taking about 10 minutes to get to a high boil. But before I do that, you want to take your oil. I'm using some vegetable oil. You can use Crisco, whatever. Vegetable oil, vegetable oil. You want to take the oil. Oh, Y'all hear that cooking cocoa? But you're going to take the oil, fill up the top, and boom. Pour your water. You want to wait 10 minutes until your water um, boils. So once I get my water going, I'm going to move that to the back. You want to get a pan, but like a deep pan. And it's going to be for your ground beef. For your ground beef, you're going to want to put that, not at high heat, but pretty high. I put it at 7 or 8, no more than that. You don't have that much. Just pretty high, not too high. So once you do that, you want to take your meat, open it up. I take a fork. Boom. Y'all, I know y'all seen that. Once you're done fighting to get this ground beef open, put that in your pot. Okay, so then I take my spatula. I have a lot of difficulties with this thing on ground beef. Now everybody's ganging up against me. For what? So, I like to chop it. I have beef sauce. Now, if you want to make a meat ball, um, I guess you would just roll it up first. I don't know. I make spaghetti and meat. Done like chopping it up there the beginning part. You want to season it. Add a little bit of salt. That's as much as your heart desires. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. A little bit more. I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning salt. Anything else you want. I like to use all purpose seasoning. A little bit of that. In my bag, y'all. My phone had, you know, turned off. Chop it up some more. Chop it up some more. Chop it up some more. Let it be seasoned. If you can't see the seasoning, it's not done. It's not done like But wow, what a moment. I will never forget. Don't be like me, y'all. Please don't. The longer you put your noodles in, the chewier they gonna get. So if you don't like gummy noodles, like I don't like gummy noodles, don't put them in there for that long. Okay? I put them in there for probably 10 minutes. Just like the meat. Be careful, y'all. We're long sleeves. Especially if you're scared like me. Please wear long sleeves. Jay, don't be trying to scare me. Y'all, he tried to scare me earlier. Look at y'all looking at this stove. He tried to scare me down. I got him. Let this oil 
for 10 minutes. Your sausages, sausages, I can Your meatballs or your meat, that should only take about 10 minutes as well. Okay, y'all, my bad, my phone went off here. But what I was about to say was, you want to put this over there. Okay, boom, there you go. So, in about 10 minutes, I let my meat cook. Hey YouTube! I just scared her. Let's yeah. Record. It's always when I'm not recording. That's what he did. I still haven't put my sauce in yet, but he wanted to holler at y'all. He wanted to drain your noodles after they done boiling, of course. This lid, hold it off, leave a little bit left, put it over my sink. Okay, y'all. I'm back with the drain spaghetti. So you could really serve it like this. You just mix it all up in a plate. My thing. Try to open that. I'll be back with this opened. And I'm back. I use this garlic bread and it goes right in your toaster. You heard me. Right in your toaster. And it'd be delicious. It comes with five cheeses. This one is the regular one, but it does have cheese for it. But that's all I want to say. I'll plate and I'll show y'all. Yeah. I know that looks good. <laughs> but yeah. All right, and that's what I call Chef D. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all cooked a little something too. If you did, let me know in the comments. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.